Northwest today just helping keep that cool air in place. We've actually gone 11 days straight with high temperatures below average. 76 was the official high for the second day straight again today. We are going to continue these temperatures to be a little bit below average over the next few afternoons, at least through Friday. By the weekend, we're at least hitting the 80s again, and by next week, we're talking temps back above average. So if you're a fan of the cool temps, take advantage of it over the next couple of days. Should continue to be uh, beautiful out there for our Thursday. Only difference by Friday is that we'll likely see a little bit more cloud cover, so not as much sunshine as what we've enjoyed so far this week. But Thursday is going to be calmer, nothing but sun through most of the day. Those high temperatures ranging anywhere from the mid to low 70s throughout the day. And we do look mostly dry through Friday, but by this weekend, we are bringing back that chance for a few showers and maybe even a thunderstorm. Here's a current look at our first alert radar network. We do have a dry front that's going to push through tonight. That's also what's creating those breezier conditions again today. And as that front continues to push through tonight, we'll gradually see those winds calm down. High pressure is going to be building up from the west tomorrow for Thursday. We're expecting mostly sunny skies, likely just seeing a few high level clouds show up late into the day, and those usually are a sign that rain is going to be possible within 48 hours. That is going to be the case for us. We should hang on to mostly dry conditions Friday, but it will be cloudy. As we head into Saturday, we are going to bring in an upper level disturbance that right now looks to kind of split the CS rate for the most part. Some heavy rain is expected across the northern Midland, Midlands into North Carolina and then another stronger wave towards our south. So for us here in town, I would say for most of the CS rate hit or miss uh, coverage of rainfall Saturday that does go down Sunday, but still not completely zero to end out the weekend. Here's a kind of a zoomed in view of the rain chances over the next five days. So by Saturday, you can see that heavier rain risk out outside of the CSRA for us here locally, just very isolated to widely scattered, not necessarily guaranteed for everybody. So don't cancel those outdoor plans just yet for the weekend. If you do have plans to head up to the lake Thursday or Friday, beautiful weather up at Clark's Hill. Lake temps are still in the mid 60s and the current level up at the lake is still about a foot above full pool. So still some pretty high water, uh, high water up there. High temperatures over the next few afternoons should be staying in the mid 70s. Our weekend outlook here in Augusta, we're going to be seeing a little bit warmer high temps, most likely in your 80s Saturday, low 80s Sunday, and just keeping that chance for a few showers, maybe even a thunderstorm both days this weekend. But clear skies for tonight, waking up tomorrow morning, anywhere from the low to mid 40s. It's going to be a chilly start to our Thursday, but later into the afternoon tomorrow, Sunshine, calmer winds and high temps just a little bit below average for us should be beautiful to get outside. Hanging on to that dry weather through our Friday afternoon, but into the weekend, just make sure you have that first alert weather app downloaded to keep an eye on those rain chances. Okay, time to dust off your hats and get those mint juleps ready. We're